All right, so a skull believed to belong to an ancient human being has a carbon-14 decay rate of 4.5 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon. Okay. So basically disintegrations is, uh, you know, just another way of saying decays. So every minute you have 4.5 decays, so 4.5 nuclear reactions per gram of carbon. All right, so that is, since it's per gram of carbon, that's enough that, that we can relate that to the amount of carbon. 14 present in that skull. Okay. If living organisms have a decay rate of 15.3 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon, since they have more carbon-14, they're going to have more decay events per minute per gram. Um, so the living organism has that decay rate. How old is the skull? The decay rate is directly proportional to the amount of carbon present. So we can just use that as our amount, our ends. All right, so we are going to use the integrated rate law once again. So we've got natural log of n sub t over n sub 0 equals negative kt. Our other equation that we're going to need here is the half-life equation, 0 0.693 over k, the rate constant. So we would need the half-life. The half-life was just uh, shown on the previous page. I, if I were going to ask you a problem like this, I don't know, in case we have a you know, final tomorrow or anything like that. I would give you, of course, a half-life rate on this qu question. I would say, O, B, T, dubs. The half-life equals 5,730 years. So we're going to need that to solve for k, right? So let's just rearrange this for k, 0 0.693 over the half-life. And 0 0.693 over 5,730 years. Zero point zero 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 one two one one point two one yeah I'll write it like that one point two one times ten to the negative fourth mm -hmm. what are my uh, units inverse years. inverse years I like it. All right, so now that I've got my rate constant, I can go back to this, uh, this original question. How old is the skull? So what are we looking for? What variable are we solving for in the integrated rate law equation? N sub t? T? T, yeah, how old, so like how, what the time is between those two. So yeah, we're looking for t. So we'll just uh, rearrange this equation for t, right? So we got t equals natural log of n sub t over n sub 0 all over negative k. Now, the n t is a 4.50? That's what we got to figure out. So n sub t is that's my amount at time t. n sub 0, that's my initial amount. All right. What is my amount at time t, n sub t? 
And what's my original amount? Original is 15.3, and sub t is 4.5. So once, when it was living, when it was a li living, originally, it could have had 15.3 disintegrations per minute. And now, the skull has 4.5. Yeah, I like that. One way, the easy, I think the easiest way to remember, is what's always going to be your most? Your original amount or your amount after some amount of time? It's like the final amount of initial. Well, kind of. Your original, since this is a nuclear reaction that are decaying, right? What's going to happen to the amount as a function of time? They're going to go down. Okay, so the original amount's always going to be bigger. You're always going to start with more, and then as it decays, it gets smaller. So yeah, n sub t is always going to be smaller than n sub zero. Let's write that. That's n sub t will always be less than n sub zero. So natural log of 4.5 disintegrations per minute per gram all over. 15.3 disintegrations per minute per gram. And I can use those to carry it because guess what? Hey, they just cancel out. All over negative K 1.21 times 10 to the negative fourth. Reciprocal years Doing science? What are you doing? All right, what do we get? 1.02 times 10 to the fourth. 1.02? 1.02. 1.12. 1.12. 1.012 times 10 to the fourth. All right, I'll probably go. Eh. 1.0, two sig figs. What are my units? Years. It's years. So we should get, this is time, this would be a unit of time, and this is one over one over years, so it becomes just years again. So 1.0 times 10 and 4, that's, uh, you know, that's 10,000 years. So that is how old that skull.